I will I will uh, sort out some pizzas or or later. I just need to know if anyone has something uh, some allergies that I need to be aware of or the beans. Sorry? The beans. Yeah. Okay. On pizza. Pizza without beans. <laughs> <laughs> no beans. And I would like uh, no meat. No meat. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Otherwise, no uh, um, allergies or anything. I would like a lot of cheese. <laughs> Special wishes are not included. <laughs> okay, but uh, that'll be all for me because now uh, Fogan will uh, will take over and lead you through these uh, two couple of hours here. And uh, yeah, Fogan. All right. So some of them were you already in the class, and I can see new faces. If you are new, please raise your hands, and I know how many new people are we today? One, two? All right, two people. So today is not about me, it's about you. So what I prepared today is that uh, I have an agenda for today that uh, I will have an introduction where I will show you once again the pitch that I showed you, and then I will try to remember as much I could remember the page, it's been uh, many years, if I could still remember, if I practiced that much. And how will I remember that? I prepare some notes here, that is the guideline to do the pitching. So I will go one by one and I will see if I remember the, the thing I said that day, uh, as you saw in the, in the video. And also, uh, I broke down everything for you, how you should pitch and how uh, you, you can use a four minute uh, for the pitching. Um, yeah, and this will be the things uh, today we will be talking. So I will just start with quickly with the, once again the pitch, uh, I want the pitch, give you, there are some new people, so it will help them to understand what I did that day. We have until now sold 1,296. <laughs> uh, we are book to wheel. How does it sound like to earn money by sharing your bike? Yes, book to wheel is an online website for renting and sharing bicycles. So in this website, you can put your bike on and rent to other people and earn money. Now. How did I come with this idea? The idea come from actually my classmate Magdalena and Magdalena is a student from Portugal. She's an international student. Magdalena came to me and I said, Porca, I need a bicycle for two weeks. And I said, don't worry, I got it. So then I have another friend. Her name is Panila. And I said, hey Panila, you're going for Canada for two weeks. And she said, yeah. And I said, would you like to rent your bicycle to Madalina? And he said, yeah, I would be willing to help to rent my bike to, Med to Madalina. So that's how Madalina got a bicycle. And I got a bulb on my head. Why not make a website which is for everybody? Anybody who has a bicycle who would like to share his bicycle can upload his bike on there. So how does this website work? So you put on the top uh, in the search area, city name. So once you put on the city name, let's say Odense, then you are able to see the bikes around you. Which bikes it is, how much is it, how far is it. And then what more is, if you like the bike, you click on it, so you see description about the bike, how many gears on it. If you are a guy who want a racing bike, yeah, that's the bike you want it. And then you read about the person who wants the bike, what he wants from you. And then you make an inquiry, inquiry, go to the owner of the bike, and then if he confirms you, you pay online, you pick up the bike. Yes. So, the, uh, now the question is, is it, is it a similar concept or what? Well, it's a similar concept, different product. Meaning, you know, everybody knows Airbnb, Airbnb, right? So, Airbnb, what you do, rent a room, rent an apartment, right? That's what you do. So, that's what we exactly do. Rent the bicycle on this website. Share your bike, yeah. Now, why rent a bike? Why not buy one? Yeah, why not? Well, the question is, there are 6,000 Erasmus students every semester come to Denmark. And guess what? It is expensive to buy a new bike, but it's cheaper to rent a bike for the shorter period. 
and, and, and what more. If you want this book to be, we got you covered from our key partner, which is Fix and Buy. They're going to come and rescue you if something happened to your bike. If the bike gets broke, they're going to come and fix it. If the bike gets stolen, you don't have to worry about it. We got you. So, now, these are the, some of the cool guys in the pictures who rented from us since we have started uh, this idea when we started this uh, entrepreneurship course. Madeline and the girl I taught you, the pretty girl on that side, and the other guys from uh, France, uh, Poland. So we have until now sold 1,296 hours, and we have a positive turnover. And we have people from seven different countries. So what are the products in our portfolio? We have uh, one product, which is 80-20. So owner of the bicycle get 80%, we get 20%. Then we have a 50-50. Let's say Henry down here is so busy, but he has a bicycle, he don't want to use it. Now, he don't have time to manage it. Give it to me, Henry. I'll, I'll manage it for you. I'll give you 50% in the end of the day. And then we have uh, 100 person. We own our own bike, which we rent. So that's we make the highest revenue in our business. So who is behind this idea? My name is Forkan. I'm an entrepreneur student. I'm an entrepreneur myself, running successful businesses in, in Philippines, which are my cash flow to fund my market star. Uh, which is book two with Julia, beauty and the brain behind this idea. She's my classmate, uh, entrepreneur student as well, and the Michael, the cool guy, the coder, the programmer. You have seen the geek guy, but that's a cool guy. He's a DJ as well, and the part time. So he code for us. And then thank you for listening to us. And uh, now it's your time to list your bike and share the economy. That's the value you're going to bring from your bike. Thank you. Thank you. So, you watch the pitch, right? Everybody has watched this pitch now twice. What is your input about this pitch? Before I will break down this pitch, and I will give you the, the key figure, what I did in the pitch. But I want to listen from you guys. You have watched it twice, and you've been to, you, are, you have pitched yourself today and the previous class. Because it's not my time, it's your time. I want to ask you guys, what did you saw in this pitch that you think that, that was different? Yeah. Um, you ask questions to the audience or whoever's listening in the beginning, but also like throughout a little bit, just to like, keep us uh, focused and right. make sure. Cool. Anybody else? Yes. Can I just ask? I mean, you had the product already, right? You tried it already. Right. Do you think you won the pitch because you had something already to show? Because like we have ideas yeah. that we didn't produce yet, that right. we didn't, I mean, it takes a lot of time. Right. We, can't, we can't do this to the 21st of November. Yeah. Do you think it's important to have something already done by that time? All right. So I will answer you this question in very detail. When I had this idea, it was just an idea in 2015. When I started course in this class where you are sitting, this idea had no progress, to be honest. And the, the slides I put there, there was mock-up. The website really didn't exist okay. that period. Okay. okay? And the, the customer I had was through <laughs> Facebook, and I mentioned Madalena, the girl, right? She was my classmate. So she asked me, and I knew uh, Panila, she was my friend. So it was all about doing it. It was, you can't make it. And this idea is about idea competition. It's about you are bringing the fantasy idea that you can sell somebody. That's what it's about. And there might be your competitor might already have already established business. And they're probably coming with that. So you will be competing with those people. But the competitive advantage you're going to bring it that you can, because now I can tell you what you can do. So. So let me give you a scenario how it's going to look like because we have no idea, nobody really told us how the, the place is going to look like. So it's a huge place, there are three sections, one for the, the, the kids and then elder, uh, higher age and then 
the last would be you on this side of this uh, huge, right? <coughs> and then you will have um, uh, one person which you are going to pitch for four minutes, and then you have four minutes to answer. So you not only have four minutes, you have eight minutes in total. So everything you are going to prepare for this uh, thing, you prepare it for eight minutes. Four minutes that you have that you can present, and then you have four minutes that you miss something, you can answer when you go one on one this question. And in this part, you have a really small time. You are not, this is the final stage, you have this presentation. But in that part, you can only have your computer or your mobile to show your markup, and that's the only time you're gonna have. So you have to really get attention on there, and you don't have to worry that if you have a good idea and if you present in a way, let me just show you how I broke down this thing uh, before I can ask another question. Uh, so if you look at my pitch, I said this thing, now I'm going to try to repeat myself just looking at this slide and see if I do remember things. So I try to present my idea to you in less than 20 <coughs> seconds. How does it sound like to earn money by sharing your bicycle or motorbike? Book 2 Wheel is an online portal for sharing bicycle and motorbike. That's it. I try to explain you this idea in 20 seconds and that's the time you have. If you try to more, spend more time explaining your idea, you are losing your time. If I cannot understand your idea in less than five to 10 seconds, I'm not gonna listen to your four minutes after that. So I need your attention in my 24 seconds. And that's the whole thing, now you're gonna build. So, so how does it go, like when we have attraction with each other? So I got your attention in, in pitch me your idea in, in first 20 seconds, what you are doing it. Me? Yeah, yeah, just the idea. Uh, we are doing cocktails on kegs that uh, makes it easier for customers to order online and we delay the time for our customers and uh, their habits. All right. So you have to be much more, a little bit more, you can refine it. Mm -hmm. Because I know your product, so maybe I can say something. So you have your product down there in front of you and you just pour this person this cocktail and you say this is a new way of serving cocktail and it's uh, disposable, yeah. right? Uh, you can bring it to the parties and it will be always there, you don't have to waste time. The cocktail, we ship you ready-made cocktail, right? Yeah. So the first thing that bring your cocktail over there with you, the, the, the cactus that you have did, and then you go to the next part, is this the similar product or is it something else? And then you can say this person, look, you know when you go to the bar, right? They are this big cactus where they're giving you beer. It's the same concept, but we did it a different product. We invented this product mm -hmm. and we have this new design of this product. So now you're trying to, so you use the first 20 seconds to explain what your idea is in the, in the keywords. Make it sure that it's very keywords that you're trying to explain your idea. And then you have another 30 seconds that how did you come up with the idea if you can come up with a story? Oh, maybe we were in the party and then we wanted to have cocktails but we were so drunk and we didn't, nobody knew how to make those cocktails but then we all found this company and we ordered this cocktail or we wish that why not we make this cactus that people can now move from beers to co cocktails. You know, the story that you tell these people is going to always remember them. So that's the second part. You have the level of the other person is listening is still going that way, right? And then you have 60 seconds. Now demonstrate your product. How does it work? If you have idea that you're trying to do e-commerce, like I was doing, my idea was uh, with the website, right? So I said, click on here, you will make a booking reservation. The booking reservation goes to the owner, he confirmed it. So I took my time to explain my product because if you are telling me your idea, and now I wanna see how does it work, right? If you show me I'm building an app where you can uh, share your tools or, or garden tools, I wanna see a mock-up at least. You can't just come here and tell me because none of you <coughs> might proceed what you're telling me today or some of you might proceed. When we were in this class, we were also the same as uh, you, you know. So how many people did we really start, went through with our idea? It was maybe one or two people. The rest quit their ideas. 
And that could be also one of the failure that those ideas didn't want that day. Because uh, they, they didn't show the motivation. Because maybe it was just for them a competition. That it was, most of people who I was with this class just felt as it's a part of the curriculum. They just want to get over it because they want to pass this uh, study and you are the same in the same course, I believe. So, it is very important that you demonstrate your product and, as, and now coming back to your question, how far you are. You can at least make markup of your product, right? You have a fab lab down here. You can print a look like version of your thing, right? You can bring that thing there. You have a full access to Fab Lab, um, and if you have some graphic designer between you, you can ask them to create mockups, or you can hide. Like I had a partner who was with me to do mockup, and I paid him to do mockup. I wanted to win, so I put my own personal money to give somebody to create me that mockup that the three slide I needed it. It was made exactly for this uh, uh, pitch. Yes, please. How much you have to pay? I don't remember how much I paid, but I think I maybe paid 1,000 kronas or something to create this markup. Agnita, she's a graphic designer, she's working with me freelance, so if anybody of you need to create a markup, talk with her, and she's also a student, so she understands you, so she can maybe help you with the create markup. Or find someone in your class, or, uh, or your friend who can make you markup. Do not go empty-handed and uh, printing the papers because, you know, people who lose that day wrote these uh, papers and trying to show an audience. Did people look what they were showing? Nobody looked. People laughed at them because it was not serious. So do not go without your complete mock-up and be sure that it works on your uh, phone device or whatever device you are using there. Then you go in the middle part. Now here is, you know, the person is more curious if he's a businessman or he's someone most people who will be uh, listening to you have some kind of background with the business either they are teacher or either uh, Henrik is one of your uh, teacher right but he has a very good business uh, background so he knew what his market size is he knew everything and Carsten was his partner which I had a first interview they were both pro in the business and what they want to know, is this the really potential? Is there is a market size for this, this idea that you're pitching me? So you need to know what's your beach head market. You heard this word, right? Beach head market or beach market is where you land, where you start your business. So calculate your, your, that, uh, that market size. And then you can calculate for, for that. And then I don't really think you have a time to explain how global market is, but start with something and say that this is the first hour's target group and then we're going to expand to that. Because you have a four minutes, you don't have the time to explain that you will go first from Denmark, you will go to Philippines, or Vietnam, Thai, you don't have a time here. You just have to have a keywords time to explain that what is your target market and in my pitch I said 6,000 students each year come to Denmark and they need a bicycle. It is expensive to buy a bicycle, but it is cheaper to rent a bicycle, right? And if you see this, uh, what is this bicycle service now today? Swafi. Swafi, right? So they are doing the same thing, what I was telling in 2016. It is expensive to buy a bicycle, but it is cheaper to rent a bicycle, and that's a great service. For 150 kronas, you can get a monthly uh, package right and that attract people when I said that and that's even when I was done pitching the person uh, who listened to me want to invest in my idea we had a huge conversation about investing and starting business and I told you why we did not did because I didn't have a visa to start a business in Denmark so I missed that opportunity so remember to talk about your competitor a little bit because if there is a competitor in the market, there is a validation of your idea. Having a competitor is not a bad idea. It is actually a good idea. It validates your idea. So I said explaining my product, giving an idea, was uh, everybody know about Airbnb, right? It's a similar concept but a different product. 
So I sum up in maybe five to 10 seconds about my competitor, giving an idea what could be my competitor in, in same domain but different product. So you have 30 to sec uh, 60 seconds to talk about your competitor, your target market, and your competitor advantage. Do you remember what was my competitor adva advantage in the pitch, if anybody? No. I said that fixing bikes. Remember that? So 2016, Fixing Bike was a startup which was offering uh, insurance on a monthly basis that if you're insured, if something happened to your bikes, they will come and fix it up for you. And I did a partnership with them, right? It didn't cost me anything to partnership with them. I reached out to them and I said, I'm going to this competition, I'm going to pitch, I'm going to put your logo out there and I need that we will you will provide me this service and we agree. So if you ask me that, were you so far behind this idea or not? I learned this uh, key partner, uh, key stakeholder during this uh, education uh, period. Neither can you check what's happening. Right, then I talked about uh, product portfolio. Do you remember what I said in product portfolio? <coughs> Talking about the four videos, right? Huh? Four videos. Four videos? Well, no, that was your. Like, that was my I customers, right? Yeah, when you were talking about the first yeah. piece. Yes. Yeah. That, like you own, like who is owning and who is managing. Exactly. Right. right. So when you are telling someone that you are pitching an idea, right? So a person is interested to interesting to know how are you making money. So I said that in our product portfolio we have 2080 where we make 20% and owner of the bicycle make 80% and then we said 50-50 if you have a bicycle and you are not using it and you don't want to deal with customer you give it to me I will rent out for you and in the end of the day I'll give you 50% right and then I said we have a third product in our portfolio which is 100% that I own myself those bicycle I will rent them out and I will also be owner of the 20 and the 80 because my company owns a bike, right? So I took 30 seconds to explain that thing, or maybe less than 30 seconds. So this is how you have to explain about your product. How would you use this time to, how do you, what, what's the product portfolio you have? Uh, so basically the product portfolio, I have all cocktails, there's six types of cocktails. Okay. And uh, you have four types of kegs, so 20, 30, 40, 50 cocktails in each keg. Yeah. And there's 40% that is cost of that price that I sell it on and 60% are the earnings. All right. And uh, at the moment, everything goes to the company because we're reinvesting everything in the company. All right. All right. So maybe you can just pick one of the things, yeah. like to explain it, this cactus cost uh, 100 or 500 krona, yeah. and it has 10, uh, uh, 10 uh, uh, drinks. drinks in it, and it, it gives us profit of uh, 50 kronas. Yeah. We spend, let's say, if somebody buy for us 100, mm -hmm. we make 50 out of it. Mm -hmm. So you have to, again, break down to what are you making here, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So again, you have a very short time, you cannot go on I did make mistakes, some of the pitches where I run out of the time and I really hated myself. <laughs> Don't do that <laughs> with that. All right. I will ask question uh, from you, please uh, ask me a question before I move forward. Uh, yeah. Um, like, I have two questions. Where were you looking when you were doing the pitch? And the second one, how was your day before? Okay. What did you do like, to prepare yourself you know, even food-wise. Yeah, all right. So, you know, I told you every time I go onto the stage, I'm very nervous, I have to go to the toilet, right? Yeah. So I did before coming downstairs. And I have a water with me always. Uh, I had a very important part with me, the Julia. You remember that girl I showed you? And you need also a partner who can, you know, be there with you. I didn't have to make PowerPoint, you know that? It was Julia who did that. I was just standing here, me and Julia was alone here and sometimes Jacob was sitting here. Jacob really helped us, uh, you know, he would sit with us maybe 30 minutes or an hour just for me, standing here and repeating four minutes again and again. He would listen to me. I didn't have to do anything with the PowerPoint, it was Julia's problem. 
Julius had prepared every single thing what I needed for tomorrow. So you need a partner that you are with your group mate, that you have to divide the things. If I'm going on the stage, I would like you to make sure my PowerPoint work. It does not collapse. I want you to be there and go there and check. Remember this thing is a very important thing. Borrow from here uh, with Jacob because it's very hard to click on there and then looking at the slide you are losing time. So, yes please. If I'm using the slides from Google, you can use remote and you can use the slide from the phone. It's something that I experimented today on our page. All right. What, what suits you best? Technology will all, always fuck you up. So <laughs> go for the easy things, you know. Uh, this is kind of solid things. It don't really easily destroy you. Uh, I, I never tried it, so I don't know how the phone works. So I knew about this thing. I borrowed this thing from Jacob, and he knew he would let me borrow that. So you need to be two or three people that day and before just relax. Uh, it's just a competition. It's a win and lose. Right? Any other question before I move on? Did you, like, just, what did you eat? Like, what did you, like, how did you mentally prepare the day before? Yeah. Uh, man, it was 2016, I don't know really what did I ate that day before. Did you just do nothing, basically? I, 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 even I was sleeping, before going to sleep, I was repeating what I wanted to say. Yeah. That's what I was doing it, you know. I memorized every single thing that I would close my eye and I would, yes, but. Um, so here in general have like the structure of the pitch. Yeah. But if you could maybe like visualize it, if yeah. you could like take a pen and yeah. maybe uh, draw the flow. Because yeah. I felt when I was watching this the second time that in the beginning you came on very strong. Yeah. But it kind of faded out a little yeah. bit. Yeah. But in the end you kind of pick it up. Pick it up yeah, a little exactly. bit again. Yeah. Because like the story about the team, yeah, of course it's an uh, important part, but yeah. it was not as strong uh, as the first part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So just out of your imagination right now. So how would you? So you know, maybe um, I started. Uh, how do I draw this thing? Let's say I start it like this, and then goes the middle part here, and then I will pick it up, and then it will go down like this. Mm -hmm. Because you are very nervous. You know, sometimes you would see that my throat will like try to choke me. You are very nervous, and it is very hard to remember everything uh, on the time. But if you really practice systematically that you, you have to see which part is your weak point. So try to put it in the middle, you know. If you have something like very weak point of you, put it, hide it between the, you know, where the, the, you are going like this. And then put it again up, you know, pitch up. And it's also your sound. You know, I would always go up pitch and then when I, my pitch would be a little bit lower when I'm in the middle part. So you have to keep the, the, the sequence uh, that you, don't break the flow. Yes. Uh, concerning your looks, like your, your clothes and stuff, what would you suggest? Like something business casual or um, matter? So most of the people there will be dressed up. People who are standing, listening to you, right? So putting a nice uh, dress is a very strong, uh, you know, reflect on that. If you come to see me with the nice clothes, I'm here to show you with a very good looking, you know, shave your face, have your hair trims, and look beautiful uh, and uh, feel proud of uh, yourself. There are so many people there. Because it's not about this pitch anymore there. It's about that if this idea is really worth it, can you attract an investor there, right? Can you find a co-founder th there who can, take this idea with you to the next step. It's not only about winning the pitch. For, for me, I joined many competitions not to win the pitch anymore. I don't have to get a, a certification for someone that my idea works. My idea works, I know my business is expanding. I don't have to go to pitch to win the competitions anymore. I go to pitch just to put my stage out there and do my branding for, for my idea. I do, I will join the competition not for winning, I have no I, I desire to win the competition. I just want to promote my business and that's my goal now. 
And for you, it's good that you want to have a win this competition. That's a very good. But 